No matter where or how you do it, in the privacy of your bedroom, in a quiet place or a very busy location, in a car, in a taxi or on a bus, in a school or in the office, over a coffee in chat with your friend or even over Facebook with your mates or strangers, over a long telephone conversation with your colleague or just simply whispering, we can hear you, we can see you. Nothing can escape our sight and attention. All of your communication tools are but toys in our estimation. And we will record it and write it down, as we warned you in our book. Think not that which ye have committed hath been effaced in my sight. By my beauty, all your doings hath my pen graven with open characters upon tablets of chrysolite. Then, don't do it. It is not worth it. It is dangerous, it is scary, it is disgusting, it will contaminate, it is contagious, and when it spreads, it will destroy. Eyes can't see, ears can't hear, it is poisonous, it breaks the law, it breaks the unity. Like stabbing someone in the back, it is painful to the victim, and a cowardly act. So, don't do it. O oh, emigrants, the tongue I have designed for the mention of me, defile it not with detraction. If the fire of self overcome you, remember your own faults and not the faults of my creatures. Do you know, Abdul Baha, what makes him happy? What makes him upset? What does he dislike most? Do you really love him? Did you say yes? Are you sure? Look into his eyes and listen to what he repeatedly says, and make a solemn pledge. If some means were devised so that the doors of backbiting were shut eternally, and each one of the believers unsealed his lips in praise of others, then the teachings of His Holiness would spread, the hearts be illumined, the spirits glorified, and the human world would attain to everlasting felicity. The worst human quality and the most great sin is backbiting. Heedless souls are always seeking faults in others. What can the hypocrite know of others' faults when he is blind to his own? اگر نفسی غیبت نفسی نماید این واضح و مشهود است که سمری جز خمودت و جمودت نیارد اسباب تفریق است و اعظم وسیله تشدید اگر چنانچه نفسی غیبت دیگری کند مستمعین باید در کمال روحانیت و بشاشت او را معن کنند که از این غیبت چه سمری و چه فایده ای آیا سبب رضایت جمال مبارک است یا علت عزت ابدیه احبای الهی آیا سبب ترویج دین الله است و یا علت تثبیت میثاق الله نفسی مستفید گردد و یا شخصی مستفیز لا والله 
بلکه چنان قبار بر قلوب نشیند که دیگر نه گوش شنود و نه چشم حقیقت را بیند امیدم چنان است که احبای الهی به کلی از غیبت بیزار شوند و هر یک ستایش یکدیگر نمایند و غیبت را سبب نقمت الهی بدانند تا به درجه ای رسد که هر نفسی اگر کلمه ای غیبت نماید در بین جمیع رسوا شود <تصفيق>